Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I'm Anna Mae and today I'm going to be sharing with you my favourites for early summer slash the month of May and half of June. Um, these are just a few bits that I've been really using recently. So yeah, I think I'm just going to jump right in and just talk more about them as I go. So the first thing I'm sharing is a perfume and I wasn't much of a perfume wearer but a lot of these things are kind of attached to me starting a new job. Uh, I didn't work throughout college semesters so I've started a job for the summer and then through actually until December which I'll talk about more in maybe like my postgrad plans or something. I'm also losing my voice and I'm really noticing as I'm filming. Also I'm wearing a very large baggy t-shirt because I'm not working today so I'm having a chill day. But um, yeah so I started wearing this perfume because I'm working in a boutique and it's kind of a nice boutique and a lot of the time I'm upstairs helping people find dresses for um, as a wedding guest. So. I have this perfume, it's Eau de Chloe, I believe, you'd recognise the bottle, um, but I always loved it, but I've been wearing it quite a bit recently, and I've had so many compliments from people coming into the shop. I also don't, I, I wouldn't spray it in my hair, because I know you're not supposed to, but I would have done that previously because I felt like it was the best way for a perfume to actually stick, but this one does actually stay on my skin, which is unusual, and all perfumes are expensive, but this has lasted me a while. I think I have about a third of the bottle left, but um, I'm not sure if I'd repurchase it. I'd probably repurchase something similar, but I think this is a great summery perfume. It's very classy and ladylike, so yeah, because I don't really like um, any of the Chanel kind of powdery scented ones, but this is, um, I'm not going to try and describe it because it's floral. It's nice though. <laughs> I was recently on holidays in Sicily, so be sure to check out my Instagram I'll put a little something about it here. Um, I'm pretty active on Instagram, especially when I'm not on YouTube because I haven't been active on YouTube the last couple of months um, because of like finishing college and all that sort of stuff. And then I've actually been much more active on Instagram. So definitely follow on there. Um, I'm hoping to step up both of them now that I'm done college and everything. Anyways, while I was on holidays in Sicily, in the kind of days and weeks beforehand, you'll see I look pretty tan. and. This is my natural hair colour. I don't tan. I do tan a small bit, but as you can tell from this, a little bit of sun and I get burned. So I love self tanner because tanning in the sun is bad for you. I recently tried out Be Bold and although Coco Brown, which I've mentioned in previous videos, favourites videos especially, is my app. Probably maybe I'll do a video about tanning. Um, but although Coco Brown is my all-time favourite, I think it lasts longer. I've actually really liked Be Bold when I'm not in college and basically, I don't know, this is better because you can put it on and it dries. I feel like with Coco Brown it kind of lasts on the skin and then it transfers onto things but I feel like Be Bold doesn't transfer as much. You can put it on and wear it that day if you put it in, on in the morning. But with the Coco Brown one hour tan, which is what I've always used, I always felt like you kind of had to leave it on overnight and then shower it off and then it looked really good but it just didn't look as good right when you applied it but that's what I found Be Bold is much better as um, an instant tanner and it's just a tenner for this bottle and obviously apply it with a mitt please if you're not familiar with tanning but I love self tanning products and yeah I like cheap ones so Be Bold has been something I've been reaching for I did get a little bit of a tan when I was on holidays but it's already starting to fade so I'm gonna be cracking this out pretty soon again. So again, while I was on holidays, I had my nails uh, done before I went there, but then I forgot to bring nail polish with me, a nail polish remover, and uh, sorry, my voice is really gone, and I needed to pick up something there. And recently, I've kind of been straying away from buy so I, I put myself on like a two year-ish nail polish buying ban. So this is kind of the official breaking of it, I guess. Um, or I think I got one maybe last year as well. But I'm kind of sticking with neutral shades from now on basically, cause be classy. And I picked up these two because Essence was like the only brand available in like the strip near where we were staying um, in one of the pharmacies. They just had Essence. So I picked up a white and I don't know if it has, it is Wild White Ways is the white and Pure Beauty is the pink. And I'm wearing the pink on my nails right now. These are amazing shades. This is so, opaque it's amazing this white it's better than any other white I've tried before um, so definitely recommend these essence ones and they're so cheap although they're not three free and they're not 
you know, much better for you. Essence is cruelty free and vegan, so that's something that I like. And then this is just so opaque, it's so good. And same with this pink one, not quite as opaque, but two coats and it's like a manicure. People are asking me at work if I got my nails done, like where I got them done. And it's just my own nails with this lovely nude pink and it looks good with the tan, I will say that. But I think it'll also look good when I'm paler. So, although that really happens because it's self-tanner, but whatever. Sticking with kind of the cosmetic things for a minute, uh, another reason why I haven't been filming so much recently is that my acne is back again and I actually had like a major cystic breakout at this side of my mouth which you can probably still see scarring from and it completely was distorting my lip. Like it was really bad, it was really ugly. So uh, probably some updated acne videos coming soon. But I have gone back to my Wet n Wild concealer which I know some people think is crap but I think it's great. It's the Photo Focus Concealer. It's super cheap, so you can use it liberally. I also do like the Benefit Boing, but Benefit is not cruelty free. So it's great for really major things. I still have it, I still use it, but this is great for lighter breakouts and for scarring. I can use it most of the time to cover up the scarring. It's like towards the end of the day now, so it's, a lot of it's worn off, but it's really good for its price point, and I definitely recommend it. It seems, it, for me, it's quite gentle. Even if I put it on something that was really nasty, it doesn't aggravate my skin, it doesn't burn or anything like that, so it's obviously pretty basic ingredients, uh, which I appreciate because it's not gonna make my skin any worse. So the next thing is kind of a love-hate thing. I have been wearing my Jack Rogers, you can see the marks, so much recently. I finally got them to, I got them at the end-ish of last summer, um, but because it rained so much in Ireland, I don't want to wear them if it's raining, even if it's warmish. So, uh, I've had a lot of chances to wear them because we've had really good weather here recently and although these are so great and comfortable for like most of the time, like I've just worn them so much on holidays, I've worn them so much to work, I wouldn't recommend these for standing in long time, um, like I'm working like 8 hours and I have like a half hour lunch and a 15 minute break uh, where I can sit down. Uh -uh. These kill my feet. Like, they hurt so much more than any of the other shoes I've tried to wear. So although I love these and they go with everything, that's why I've been wearing them so much for work because I kind of need to dress up. And they're perfectly dressy but casual enough and I just love them. So I love my Jack Rogers, will continue to wear them, but they are killing my feet. Like the ball of my foot and my heel hurt so much by the end of the day. But that's just kind of because I'm on my feet all the time. But uh, yeah, they're just such a versatile shoe. So if you can get them, I would definitely suggest it. Or even just get the knockoffs, because I had those for a while too. But yeah, they just go with everything. So lastly, I have something kind of different to the rest of my like fashion beauty type things. And that is this Traveler's Notebook. If you don't know what a Traveler's Notebook is, honestly, I just suggest that you Google it. Um, it's a kind of leather bound. This is not real leather though. And you put notebooks in it, basically. Definitely check out my planner channel, which I will have linked at the end. And it's also linked to multiple places. I'll have it linked down below. Or my planner Instagram to hear more about them. They're very popular. I managed to get quite a cheap one. I didn't get an actual uh, Traveler's Notebook or um, Foxy Dory. I didn't or Foxy Fix, Foxy Fix. I didn't get one of those because they're very expensive. But uh, I've been really enjoying using this. I used this when I was traveling. I didn't bring my full on planner because it gets so heavy with all the stickers. But definitely check this out on my planner channel if you're interested. And I just thought I'd share that I'm loving using it. Um, it's good for on the go because my Erin Condren is so big. But yeah, I just think it's fun. And I covered one of the notebooks in like a fabric cling, which is cute. So yeah, that's been fun recently. So that is it for my recent favourites. I know this video is a bit all over the place, but I'm still kind of getting back into things and I was doing this kind of in a rush and in a baggy t-shirt, but whatever. Uh, definitely follow me on Instagram to keep up with everything. It's just at anime.yt. And hopefully I will continue to post a little bit more regularly from now on. Um, I am around now. I have no plans to go anywhere until December. So I have no excuse. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below and I will see you in my next video.